Hey y'all, my name is June Carter Cash, but you can call me June. They told me I was supposed to get up here and tell you something interesting about my life, but life's just life, so I figured I might as well tell my whole story. It starts at the beginning just like anybody else's. I was born in June 23rd, 1929 in Mesa Springs, Virginia at my home. I was the daughter of Ezra Carter and Mother Maybell Carter and had two sisters, Helen and Anita. We were the first family in country music to perform together and we were known as the Carter Sisters. When I was seven, I learned how to play auto harp and rhythm guitar and sing. When I was nine, I performed in public for the first time singing Engine 143 with my sisters and playing my auto harp. I was the first Carter also to have a hit on the chart singing Baby It's Cold Outside with Homer and Jethro. My favorite color was blue and I called it June Blue because it was also the color of these things. This is one of the great times. In 1952, I married Carl Smith who is also a singer performer and we performed at the Grand Ole Opry several times before we were married and during marriage. In 1955, we had our first daughter named Rebecca Carlene and she goes by the name of Carlene Carter and she's a singer. In 1956, I went on tour with Elvis Presley, and that was when I was introduced to Johnny Cash by his album, Cry, 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 while Elvis was tuning his guitar every night before our shows. In 1956, also, I finally met Johnny Cash for the first time backstage at the Grand Ole Opry. Even though we were both married, he announced he would marry me one day, and laughing it off, I just kept living my life. That same year, a little bit later, me and Carl divorced. And little did I know what was going to happen in the next few years. It didn't stay that way for long, and in 1957, I married Edwin Nix, who is a local police officer that people called Rip. We had one daughter named Rosanna Lee. She goes by the name of Rosie. And during our marriage, I went to New York City to take acting classes. I wrote a song with Merle Kilgore in 1962 called Ring of Fire. In 1966, me and Edwin divorced, married March 1st, 1968 at a small church in Franklin, Kentucky. In 1970, we won a Grammy for our song, Jackson, and then a few months later, we had our son, John Carter Cash. And then we won a gra another Grammy for our song, If I Were a Carpenter, together. Through most of the 70s and 80s, I trailed away from music, writing two autobiographies. I could have made more records, but I wanted to have a marriage. I ended up recording an album and won a Grammy for it in 1999.